Welcome to Sidza.com. Hello friends. The other day I was teaching about aromatic compounds. What are aromatic compounds and what type of reactions you see with aromatic compounds. Uh, and one of my students actually, you know, he has sent me after the, you know, that particular session, he has sent me one of the beautiful questions over here. And the question is, why is in all form of cyclohexane 135 trione more stable than its keto form? So I thought, you know, to make a video on it because, you know, this is a very common question. So let's try to answer this particular question. You know, why is like that, you know, in all form of this compound is more than it's, you know, the keto form. Look at here. We have 135 benzene trione fluoroglycinol, which is actually a benzene trione. We have a benzene ring and three hydroxide groups attached to it. And the position of these hydroxide groups is 1, 3, and 5. Correct? 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 6 carbons. In this compound, we observe that this, you know, molecule has two ketoenol, you know, uh, forms. So it undergoes a tautomerization and we can have a one more molecule over here. There are two basically, uh, two uh, isomeric forms here. Ketoenol, you know, isomers are there. Here in this case, hydrogen from this OH, it shifts to this particular carbon which actually, you know, in this uh, molecule actually is the CH. This is the carbon sp2 hybridized carbon with a double bond, single bond, and one hydrogen. When hydrogen from this oxygen, it shifts to this one, and double bond is formed in this case here. So what you get? You get a molecule like this. We have now, in this case, we have a double bond oxygen. And this carbon here, which is CH, now it turns into the CH2. All right? It is the CH2, and now it's, you know, you had a double bond here, now it's a single bond. Same thing will happen over here, right? You know, at the two hydroxide groups. Hydrogen will shift to this, you know, carbon, and here this hydrogen will shift to this particular carbon. So that means you will have a double bond oxygen here, and double bond oxygen over here. And these carbons over here, now these are the, this is the CH2 and the CH2. You have learned in the keto in all forms, that if you have this type of a system, you know, you have a carbon with the OH, and if you have a double bond over there, this type of molecule can exist in, you know, the isomeric forms, right? There will be the ketoenol, you know, tautomers for this type of compound. Carbon with OH and a double bond, right? So what we have learned previously, we have learned that in the ketoenol tautomerization, what happens, this hydrogen over here, it's lost there, okay? It goes to this particular carbon, and actually, you know, you have a double, you know, you have a hydrogen, you know, bond over here between oxygen and the hydrogen that shifts towards the carbon and forms the double bond. And then what you will observe, you see, you know, we see that there is a carbon oxygen double bond. And this single bond, you know, now this double bond, it becomes a single bond because you get a hydrogen there attached with the carbon. And again, and again, you know, this bond will break, it goes here, it goes up, hydrogen shifts, and you get the first one back. Correct? So this is how, you know, this uh, keto form can turn into the enolic form. This is the enol form. These are the two keto enol, you know, tautomers. And how you, you know, how, how you get these two things? By the transfer of hydrogen from the OH to the carbon here. In this case, you know, when you have a, a you know, a benzene molecule with the three OH groups around, and you can see or you can observe the same thing here. Hydrogen from this, you know, oxygen, it will shift to this particular carbon and the CH will turn now into the CH2, right? So it becomes the CH2 after the transfer of hydrogen there. And it can go back here, right? It can, you know, this hydrogen can go back here and, you know, you will have a double bond and that means you get this one back. So the point here is, you know, this 135 benzene triol, this is 135 benzene, you know, uh, triol, which is also called as a fluoroglycinol, okay, fluoroglycinol, and it has a one more, you know, this uh, keto form, which is actually cyclohexene, cyclohexene, and 135-trione, correct? This is cyclohexene 135, because you have, you know, CO groups, ketonic groups at the 1, 3, and the 5 position, so you can call this one as a 
this one is cyclohexane 135 triol and this one is you know uh, this is 135 benzene triol and you know you see you see this one this particular compound you can say this is an enolic form and this is a keto form and now these are the two tartomers okay two isomeric forms and which among the two you think is more stable correct so first we learned that you have two isomeric forms now the question is which among the two is more stable and why it will be more stable we have learned in the aromaticity that aromatic compounds are always more stable right aromatic compounds are more stable and if you look at here in the enolic form here correct you see we have three alternate bonds right alternate single and double bonds in the uh, you know this uh, in this ring and therefore this molecule is aromatic right this form actually is aromatic enolic form is aromatic and the keto form is not an aromatic correct so that's why enolic form is more stable because generally aromatic compounds are far more stable than non-aromatic right so that means enolic form of this you know compound 135 cyclohexane you know hexane uh, trione its enolic form is more stable than this keto form because the enolic form is aromatic and aromatic compounds are far more stable because for an aromatic compound what do you need you need a cyclic structure conjugate planar and should contain 4n plus 2 pi electrons the Huckel rule and the 4n plus 2 pi electrons you know when you put the numbers there it comes out to be 2 6 right uh, 10 14 like that those number of electrons if you have a cyclic ring that contains 2 pi electrons or 6 pi electrons or 10 pi electrons or 14 pi electrons that is aromatic so you see here we have three alternate single and double bonds so there are three pi bonds actually that means there are six pi electrons in the ring right there are six pi electrons in the ring it's cyclic conjugate planar and contains six pi electrons in the ring hence the more you know this one is aromatic so that's why here the enolic form of the cyclohexane 135 trione is more stable than it is you know keto form hope you got it thanks for watching the video bye for now